Hi everyone, I'm Jason from Allo7 and today I'm going to show you how to use the toolbox in the Allo7 courseware. Alright, let's jump right into it. So, when you open up the courseware, you're going to see a toolbox in the top right hand corner. Click on the toolbox and it'll pop out. You can move this tab anywhere on screen, you can keep it horizontal, or you can also move it vertically, whichever you prefer. So now, let's go through the different functions of the toolbar. First, you have the pointer. The pointer does exactly that. <coughs> Points. So you can click on different things throughout the courseware that have animation and audio. Genius English 5. Unit 3, Activities and Sports. Alright, so the pointer allows you to do these things. Next, we have the highlight function. If you want to draw the student's attention, but you don't want to completely block it out, you can use the highlight function, or you can use the pen function. If you make a mistake, you can use the eraser. You can also change the color. We have nine different colors available. No, oh, I apologize. We have 10 different colors available. All right. So whatever color you desire, you can use. You can also change the thickness of the line if you want a thin line. Or if you want a thick green line, we also have that option as well. If you make a mistake, you can go back and undo. Or you can also redo. If you want to get rid of everything on screen, you can click the garbage can and it will completely erase the screen. We also have the text function. Click on the A here, click anywhere on the screen and a text box will pop up. Then you can write whatever it is you want to write. Great job everyone! After which you can move the text box anywhere on screen. If you want to draw the student's attention to one specific area, you can use the spotlight function and you can also move it around screen so if you want to say what is she doing the spotlight function is great for this next we have the whiteboard function here's the whiteboard function oh and it looks like I forgot to erase it from last time so the whiteboard function you can use you can slide out make it bigger or smaller you can also add multiple whiteboards to the screen so if I don't want to erase this whiteboard but I want a new one then I can just click the plus and I'll have a new whiteboard okay so you can do that any number of times to draw different pictures and then you can go back as well also we have the dice function the dice function is just a simple little random number generator from one to six maybe you want to choose a student to answer a certain question you have them pick a number from one to six and the closest student gets to answer did I hear two let's see oh it was six alright better luck next time alright so that's a quick little activity you can do with the dice function and last but not least we have the timer function so the timer function you can set at any amount of time if you want the students to give the students 30 seconds to brainstorm an idea or complete an activity, this is great. So you can change it one minute, two minute, three minute. Every interval of 10 seconds is available. Okay, you hit the start button. You also have the ability to pause and reset. Okay, so that's the toolbar function. We also have the navigation function where you can flip from page to page, title page, new words, you can click on the story, which is all sports, click on an individual page, or you can hit the previous or next button as well. Either one works. And last but not least, we have the tips. So there are no tips for this one, so let's go to a page where they have some tips. Okay, so we have the new words page. If we were to go to the tips, we can see lots of different instructions pop out. So if you're having trouble teaching a page, you can click on the tips button and there will be hints there to help you teach that lesson. Additionally, on the new words page, we have the ability to click on the word and then on the picture badminton to listen to the audio. 
Also on the new words page, we have three options. The first option is a picture and text view. Second, we have just the picture. And third, we have just the text. This is good for offering a bit of variety to your students when learning the new vocabulary. In the story time, there's the ability to click once again on the audio. You can click on screen or you can cl click the play button in the top right corner. All sports by Peely. In the story, you can click the play button to have it play. This is my sports magazine. Is it cool? Yeah, it is. Look. Or, if you want to click on an individual character, you can click and then practice their individual parts. Is it cool? This is my sports magazine. Okay, if you want to refresh, you can always click the rewind button and start from the top. <coughs> Finally, on the end page, you can also use... See you next time! The animation once again, and say goodbye to the kids. So, you did a great job today! See you next time! Alright, so that's a wrap up of how to use the Allo 7 toolbox. I hope it helps! Good luck in the interview! Till next time!